exactly the right point in time to have this conference right now. This is the period where we really introduce multi-core systems in all our new product lines. The best thing of the EMCC conference is here uh, different OEMs, tier ones, but also solution provider um, will give a talk uh, on their experience which they had the last year on developing multi-core systems. And on the one side the challenges which they were facing and uh, as well the solution they developed. And for all the attending uh, people this will be very interesting because they can use these experiences for their own project and using this to get more successful multi Projects. The main problem is that at the moment we are thinking sequential and we have to shift from sequential thinking to parallel thinking. Multicore is uh, very important today because uh, the industry, especially as an automotive, uh, moves from single to multi-core and uh, with this move there is a lot of uh, change uh, involved uh, of processes, of tools, of thinking. Thinking parallel is the most challenging thing here. It's really important that the companies work together and um, on our conference we want to introduce a closed loop solution for multi-core um, where all the partners um, were I'm working on and really happy that every aspect is connected now. Safety. Nevertheless, Multicore definitely has the potential or people hope that also the security aspect may get a push by this. We currently do a speed networking here, uh, the, all the multicore conference partners uh, are standing face to face and uh, in two minute rhythms they change their partner to get in contact and meet all the people who attend the conference. We as Continental are not developing only one project, yeah. we are developing here from our architecture point of view a platform where we instantiate out of this several projects for different OEMs. It's an important conference because it brings together both uh, people from academia and people from industry across the full spectrum of both sort of from the automotive uh, semiconductors, uh, tier ones and OEMs and you get as well as sort of some theoretical advice, you get practical experience from uh, people who are using multi-cores in their day-to-day -day job. Basically we have the same problems. Uh, all, all the suppliers and uh, this is always good to see alternatives to our problems. It's just about application and usage of multi-core controllers inside transportation systems, especially safety related transportation systems like uh, avionics, automotive and railway. The reason to come to this conference is to learn a little bit about how to port legacy software onto a multi into a multi-core environment but also I think there's a lot of requirements for safety to be answered in the rail system. It's been done in automotive, can we move that onto the railway systems? We already encapsulate on, on this software composition level the functional dependencies inside. And so now we have to identify the dependencies between them so that we find dependencies and relationships that, that come together to place the software that depends on each other to the, to the right I expect that I double check our uh, current solutions that we already have in house and uh, check if they somehow fit to what's already in the market and uh, also check if what the problems of others uh, are. I see a growing um, demand to exchange data if we deal with uh, multi core and many core systems. So, suppliers and OEMs have to talk about, and we also have uh, different domains that have to exchange data. So I think we, we have to know what is going on in other companies, other domains, and I think uh, that our project, Amaltea, is a good basis for exchange. In five years we will only see multi-core systems and we have many unsolved problems, and these problems need to be solved together. Mm -hmm.